Hello everyone, join us here from Dennis Tries Anything. Today I am troubleshooting my Lorex security camera. Out of nowhere, it just showed the black window with no live feed. So, security camera is not good if it's not recording nor showing live feed. So, we're gonna troubleshoot that today. So, I unplugged my power supply cable right here from the octopus cable that goes through the um, power supply cable that goes to the camera and the power supply that one right there should clock in at 12 volts divided by 8 then that should give us enough power for the eight cameras that I have here but unfortunately we're not getting any feed so a simple google search rendered um the search results showing that it would be a power supply issue a possible power supply issue so we're gonna troubleshoot that today so since we are troubleshooting a power supply i have my um voltmeter here ready so we have the red probe or the hot probe it should go into this middle one right here right here so just like that because red is hot and then the black probe should be on the outside of the plug because that's the ground so this should give us 12 volts if the power supply is okay if not then yeah it's not gonna work so let's see how much we're getting we're getting about 5.1 uh, 5.9 about 6 volts so yeah that's that is not enough for all eight cameras earlier I showed the meter for this was 5.9 so I'm going to connect the octopus cable here and we're going to conduct the same test but for each individual um, cables. So let's try this again. Red probe is hot, goes in the middle. We put the black on the ground and we're getting about uh, 5.4, 5.3. This first cable. Repeat seven more times for this. Same exact thing. My theory is that all of these will clock in at around five point between five point two to point five point four, which we're seeing right here. So we have three right now tested. We'll have a couple more here. Halfway done. Yep. This one's good. Okay, fifth one, pretty consistent. Three more. Same thing. Down to our second to the last one. Yep. So seems like it is pretty uniform reading on all of the eight cables. So yes, we are only getting 5.4 um, 5 volts on each of these. But again, that's going to be divided into eight. So 5.4 divided by eight, that's just not enough power to power all eight cameras so one thing i want to do is plug in at least one camera here uh one, one cable to the power supply and see if we are going to get a light feed in at least one of the security cameras so i see here Okay, 
Let's bypass the octopus and, and cable and we'll just plug this in directly to the camera. And there you go. That confirms that the issue really is on this power supply and not the cable. All right, I got a 24 volt uh, power supply here. And I just wanna test this to show if our uh, meter, voltmeter is working correctly. And if this is working correctly, this should give me a 24 volt reading. Okay, I'm only using one hand here, so I apologize. So right there, connected to the terminal, and we got 24 volts. So that is really cool. Now we know that this one works. Let's take one of the cables that we tested earlier and plug this one in and see if we get a live feed in one of these cameras. And that's it guys, after we plug in this 24 volt power supply here, we're now getting a live feed. And again, that confirmed that our faulty power supply that came with the DVR is totally gone out. Again, totally understandable. Uh, this camera system has been in place for what, uh, seven, eight years. So something has to give, and in this case, this that gave up. So. That's great uh, news for me because I could just replace that with uh, a new power supply, which is not expensive. All right, hope this helped you guys out and save you some time and headache. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button to support my channel so that I can create more contents like this one. All right, have a good one. Bye.